This is a catalog of the Danish painter Wilhelm Hammersoy. The uh, exhibition was held in 1997 at Ordrup Gore, which is on the outskirts of Copenhagen, and also in uh, Paris at the Musée d'Orsay. Wilhelm Hammersoy, who died in 1916, I regard as the greatest of all Danish painters, and I feel a very close affinity to him and my own discipline and training of uh, color values, observed color values, at the great tonality that you can see here in the, in the uh, detail of the uh, cover of this catalog, a kind of a mysterious and uh, sense of the unexpectedness of nature. We'll look at a few of the paintings here. I just have a very uh, close feeling of real identity with uh, Hammersoy's work and my wife uh, in Audrup Gore, which is a, a small museum, as I say, on the outskirts of Copenhagen, said, come here, Dick, come here. Uh, this is like a painting of yours. And in the landscape and the severity of it, the geometry, you might say, and the very, very close tones, which I hope you can see in here in the sky and in the ground. It's not powerful Matisse-like uh, reds, yellows, and blues in, in their uh, tonalities. Do you see? It's very subdued, but within this, this very close tonality, there's a tremendous amount of color. Hammersoy, Hammersoy went to to Paris to study he really began when he was about, uh, I think, seven or eight years old. His mother got him professional training, and by the time he was 11, he was uh, drawing and working. Um, he went to Paris, and uh, this painting of his sister was exhibited, and Renoir was very uh, admiring of Hammersoy's work. It's interesting that Hammersoy did not pursue the Impressionists uh, then, and, and this would have been in the 1880s. Uh, they were in full swing. He, he, he had introductions, but he didn't, to Monet and so forth, but he didn't, uh, he didn't spend time with them. Rather, he spent time in the Louvre doing, uh, among other things, a work like this, do you see? Very independent. Again, look at the tonal aspects and look at the sense of form, three-dimensional form that you get here. Uh, very much a man going after his own way. Here is a very early painting. It is so abstract, uh, the, the horizontals and the shape uh, and the shapes that uh, he's played in here. Uh, always with Hammersoy, a sense of looking at things that uh, the other artists might have walked past. Now, I want to s I'll skip back to the very tail end here. He did from the beginning uh, the figure, and when he did do the figure, as you can see from here, they were taken for particular models, and again I feel a great affinity with this. It was an attempt to do an, an idealized model, uh, even uh, you can see in here, even in these reproductions, how close, and uh, really they're all in grays, and yet how much color there is in them, so that the particularity of the models, well, when I first saw this in 17, uh, 1976 in Copenhagen in the National Museum, it's a life-size painting, and I looked at it, and I said, well, this is a contemporary painting. So I was astounded that, uh, that this man had done this work uh, and had died, in, in, as I say, in 1916. The range of his work is very great. Uh, you you will see the architecture and everything. He loved interiors. This is Saint Anigeda. Uh, I know this building very well uh, in Copenhagen, looking out over the uh, the Great Canal. Asia House. These interiors. The abstract balance and harmony has got an enormous appeal. I can look at a painting like this for hours and hours on end. And I've, uh, since I first saw Hammersoy, have searched him out 
uh, wherever I can see him uh, because of the look at the space and look at the way the light falls and the abstract architecture that he brings to everything more interior extraordinary sense of light you feel that there's a kind of a sense of direct observation akin to Vermeer but very very different this is a Danish sensibility and finally this painting of his wife Ida and here she is with her coffee cup and my wife Kitty says this is the perfect way that she feels empathy and understanding for the for what it is to be the wife of an artist.